tomorrow morning at 7 30 a pop-up live of you know don't pass me by i feel like i want to run with one tomorrow morning who knows it may become a regular thing when you know it's a wednesday and friday 7 30 a.m we're on here but don't pass me by but like i said you know pop-ups can or may occur at any given day of the week outside of Wednesday so it could be a Sunday it could be a Monday Tuesday Thursday or a Friday but right now Fridays seem a little convenient for me uh, let's see how it goes let's see how it goes from there <laughs> uh, good morning good morning good morning I'm gonna do a pop-up live tomorrow morning for sure we're gonna sing the clothes away tomorrow morning I want to feel about that. Let me know what you think. If I do a Friday pop-up, will you be here? A Friday live. Friday morning live. 7.30 Toronto time. And the reason I didn't say 7.30 US time is because it's already, it's still 7.30 in the US. At least for most parts. For my US people. So don't feel left out on Monday morning when I said uh, it's 6.30. The time will be 6.30 uh, Jamaican time and 11.30 a.m. UK time <laughs> and then I said of course Toronto time 7.30 so some of the US people got a little bit jealous and I said wait so we don't watch you I could never forget you my top followers are from the US the top city that follow me you think it's Toronto flocking and flooding my page no you think you think you think 
Toronto is here, but we have I have more USP followers than I do um, than uh, in comparison to my Toronto people. That's how it go. Suzette O'Connor, O'Connor, O'Connor. Okay, hope I said that right. <laughs> Big up yourself, Mama. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. The whole world will be smiling. So no, no, so no, now I get sick of me because I'm going to be here every day. <laughs> I'm going to be here every day, child. Every day. I have been here. I've been here every day on my, my page. I mean, I've been posting consistently since November 2021. I started again. I'm like, this is it. This is my second shot at this thing. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to give it 100% gotta make it this is plan a there is no plan b if plan a doesn't work then plan a has to work <laughs> this is plan a child plan a plan a plan a yeah so how did i get from 4.3 k to 10 k in two weeks and change Two weeks and change. Somebody in front of me I drive slow. How do I get from there? Nashana, Charlotte Campbell. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Park. Parks. Let me get fit out to the really, really good. I'm about to be at work in like three to four minutes. Oh, and because, you know, usually on Tuesday evenings, I don't cook. I don't cook a thing on Tuesday evenings because I no, 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 so I'm not sleep out Tuesday night time. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Tired. So, I mean, on, on, on Wednesday evenings, I mean, I don't cook. So, I take out last night. And um, I didn't bring no... I didn't make time to fix any breakfast or anything for me. Usually I bring my breakfast at work. Bring my breakfast to work. But this morning I have to go buy a little something, something. Just something to hold me until lunchtime. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna I carry no, I don't have no lunch bag with me today. <laughs> no lunch bag. I'm so excited. Who wanna, no. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yesterday was out of this world. Out of this world. Can you imagine? I've never seen anything like this in my life. In my life. And I said, I've had a Facebook account since 2009. I opened a Facebook account. I started my page in 2016. July 2016. I didn't even understand anything then. I, just somebody told me, say, oh, why won't you um, create a page so that when you come to these events, I went to an event and the lady said, yeah, create a page. And when you tell somebody about your, 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 your brand, you can just have them click like and they'll follow you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I created the page the same month. And I didn't understand. I was still posting from my regular Facebook profile so a lot of things I didn't understand at the time. I didn't realize I shouldn't have I've been doing that. If me did just start post from 2016, would I reach a million by now? <laughs> yeah, so a little after that, I would, you know, I would post any post that I created. I, I posted on my regular profile and then on my, from my Facebook page. I didn't know the little tricks them, what to do. I didn't know. I did not know or else I would have been way ahead of the game way ahead so some people think like I just started singing and mm -mm, I've been doing this for a long time I've been singing from my eyes down my knees as Jamaicans would say I've been singing forever 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 I was so little when I started to sing and I have you know vivid memories of this I've been singing at church it all started up at church, of course. Church will always be, and gospel will always be my primary genre of music. That's that's where I, hey, you know, ha! 
that's just me that's where I shine that's 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 me so uh, it started at church from a little girl and I was so tiny they could even see me from the odd from the you know the congregation couldn't see me from the uh, the podium so they would put me on a chair to stand my dad would lift me up put me on the chair I stand on the chair and this and I remember it I remember it all the time and my first little song that I used to sing at church was I'm living up on the mountain and I'm all right <laughs> Ooh, I went into a big old dirty hole Jesus mm. so that when the snow mess up the road man they put me on the chair and I sing I'm living up on the mountain and I'm all right I'm all right Anytime I say I'm all right, I would close my eyes really tight because I thought it's something you do. I'm all right. Learn from the big sisters, them, and my brothers, them. I'm from, I'm from a musical family. Everybody sings. Everybody sings. I'm living up on the mountain. I'm all right. And when I finish singing, everybody a clap and they would just give this loud. That's what encouraged me. Everybody does. Woo! my dad would come he would lift me up <laughs> off the chair and then it's just a good feeling when you you know everybody proud of you my daddy lifted me up and carrying me down and I see everybody like from a bird's eye view like, of everybody see them head top <laughs> it looked so far away because I was so tiny so when he held me and my dad was over six feet tall child hey daddy tall in a man <laughs> So me feel high up in the sky when them a clap for me. That's where it started. Let's order something. May I have a medium French vanilla, please? Medium French? Yeah. That's it, Thank you. No, I may have uh, two hash browns as well. One hash brown, too? Yeah, two. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I want you oh admin, come on out watch here, good morning, my <laughs> I will take over my page. Good morning, admin. I didn't even see you there, mama. Good morning, Ann Wong. Good morning, Julie Reed. Good Julian Reed, sorry. Good morning, Sandra Watkins. And Jackie Gross always sending the love. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you so much for your love. Marva Shaw. Good morning, Queen. How are you? Me just I get a little breakfast and I go and chit chat with you know? Just a little bit. Thank you. May I have a sleep, please? She didn't hear. May I have a sleeve, please? Thank you. I didn't know if one should give me. I asked for two. Uh, thanks, thanks. It's okay. It's all right. Maybe God say, you know, just eat one this morning. <clears throat> Can't wait for park. My workplace is just around here. So I can really talk. We can really talk. So. people a long time may I try and a lot of people you know as I grew I used to sing with my siblings and then I joined a singing group and then you know while and I would sing with my Mullin sisters and then I was singing I was singing with the singing group like you know I would do solo every chance every opportunity I get I would be singing 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 mostly at church of course at church at church at church at church always at church or church related events awesome concert you remember George Banton the guy that sings, I'm next in line for my blessing. Jerry Thompson uh, put down the gun guy with the cowboy hat. We used to, um, you know, we shared the stage with them a lot of times. Even one of the time, my singing group, we, we were the background vocalist. One, just a one-off thing for um, George Banton at a, a concert series that they were having. And uh, all them time that we were singing, I can tell you it was for free, 
for free. So my whole life, I've been singing for free with up and down all over the place, singing for free. The man promised at the time to pay us 5,000 Jamaican dollars, because I was in Jamaica, of course. And at the time, 5,000 was a good little money, you understand? So we feel good and thing, and we did the series, and we said, all right, we went to Sab. They had um, a, a, a show in Sab Lamar. They had one in, I think, Black River, and one, in, was there one in Montego Bay as well? I remember, whichever place they have it, we were there. We, you know as planned it was a verbal agreement that we would perform there and at the end of the series we would I get five thousand dollars right not sure not, not sure no? yeah so <laughs> at the end of the series I did want to pass the month you know unfortunately we never get a dime father bless this food thank you amen mm. Mm. We never got a dime. The man ran off a foreign. We hear same runner with the five thousand dollars. Everybody money, including ours. We don't get nothing. Can you imagine all them people singing the up and down? Never get a thing. And that is why I'm so annoyed if somebody expects me to show up for free. For free. I do a lot of um charity stuff, but I'm telling you, people gotta learn to respect your craft. I'm it's not right it's not fair I can't walk into Metro or the gas station or anywhere and tell them say that you know let's put a little gas in the middle I can't do that sorry I grab something for eat meanwhile I'm talk to them because my whole life they robbed me the whole life and that part of it you told me never understand I never understood Sure, tell Karma I'm live, please. Tell mommy, mommy, um, Jamaica that I'm live. I don't have the other phone with me this morning. Can't text her. <laughs> so, if she ever know I'm live, Mama, I'm live. Sure, tell Karma I'm live, please. Yeah, I'm annoyed when people expect me. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not fair. But God have honored all of that. Everything we ever go through. Musically. Musically. God has been changing that. You see before Auntie Donna. Before the whole Auntie Donna experience. Ever since I started to post consistently. November, 20, November 2021. God has been opening doors. Especially uh, since last year. And I told you the night before I did the the live with auntie donna i was just having a, just a conversation at home with my husband and i'm like yeah you know because I, i've got so busy oh no i'm gonna do one auntie donna show yet i mean when i say auntie donna show i mean you know because people that saw me on the live with her i have been booking me for their show but those are to come like in june and so forth going on up everything you see me doing it's based on you know a recommendation or they see me singing on Facebook or they've seen me singing in person at an event and they said oh I like this girl can I you know I want her at my show or I want her at my event so all of those all of those is you know it, it's as a result of the hard work that I've put in that I've been putting in <laughs> that I've been putting in so can you imagine I was telling my husband I say I'm gonna need more support now because see I'm busy on weekends it's crazy like this is usually my weekends I go to church and this is where I will try to do a big cooking on a Sunday when I say a big cooking I mean like more than one protein you do some rice and peas you do some big potatoes you, you cook some um, curry goat if you can fry some fish something for curry as long as you can through the week because my busy during the week when I have the time and I have we have a three-year-old we have a nine-year-old so that's a lot of you know going around and daddy very busy daddy work all night long when i say daddy i mean my husband i don't call him daddy i say it sometimes because i want the boys to always go daddy my husband's very busy <laughs> daddy <laughs> in busy work all night long oh mommy mommy see you there and he work all day long you understand so we don't really have a village so to speak 
We don't have the village. We are that village. So if they're not with him, they're with me. If they're not, they're, they're at school and we're at work and they're at daycare and they pick up, drop offs. It's a lot of things we have to do. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. So I was telling him, I said, no man, with all these shows I'm getting, that's before the inter the live with Auntie Nana, you know. I said, with all these shows I'm getting, I'm going to be um, even more busier because... I don't know. I said, he said, we don't know how we're going to do it. That time I didn't know what was to come the day after, like just one day later. Remember now, I went to the radio station to just get some photo ops with Auntie Donna. If you come show off, Pa, oh no. <laughs> I wanted to hug her up and tell her again, you know, because, you know, we don't communicate like that. I have her phone number, but since last year, June, she gave it to me. When I when I when she came to the first interview, you if you all go back, you can see I was there in studio with them. I support um, my husband when he have any interviews or anything like that, anything I can help him with. So because I told him about Auntie Dana, he didn't even know about Auntie Dana. Cause I'm the social media tetis, as my sister would say, because <laughs> he don't have time to be on no, nothing watching anybody's life. He hardly have time to scratch him head. So I was the one that told him, and I said, listen, um, you know, it'll be good. Blah 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 blah. So that's when he found out and, you know, thanks to Princess and everybody that just chimed in, bam, he had the interview with her. I got her phone number. We never communicated. If there was anything or so, I would text her and say happy birthday or, you know, Merry Christmas, whatever. I bought her cakes. I didn't even put it out there on Facebook. I bought cakes from her. I, I supported her business in whatever way I could. I never put, and I wasn't using Auntie Nana to do nothing like that. I just supported the queen and that's it. <laughs> When I heard she was coming back to, um, no, when we saw the interview that she, not the interview, what do you call it? The marathon that she ran with, um, for you rain, I saw it and I told my husband, I said, wow, you could get, um, mm -hmm. try and get an interview with her. Right. Because he's like, what happened? And I was explaining to him how she created history, blah, blah, blah. They, they, they garnered over 20,000 Canadian in a couple hours on social media. And he's like, what? That's, that's just mind blowing. I've never seen that happen anywhere before. So he said, yeah, I'm going to give her a call and, you know, try to get a telephone interview with her. And then we called her and she said, um, oh, is there somebody looking at me now? It's so weird. She said, um, oh no, hold on with the interview. I'm coming to Canada in two weeks. So we're like, okay, even better. All right. Good, good, good. And <clears throat> listen, I took the day off <laughs> from work to go support him with the interview and I wanted to tell her in person like wow I don't know how you'd even do it with this she, she's very influential you gotta give her that you gotta give her that no matter what people say no matter what you might think she's a very influential woman right and you just wanna just hug her and tell her say wow God be with you mama you are something you're someone special and that's all I thought was gonna happen that day that's all. I went there, I hugged her up, my greet her, and I waited until they were done with the interview. And then, you know, as soon as she came out the interview, she said, Come, I want to sing in your car. I want to sing. <laughs> Why you sing in the car? One song in the car for me. When me hear that, <laughs> that time I was at 4.3K. When I heard she said that, I'm like, I don't have my box, I don't have my speakers, I don't have nothing, I don't have no mic, nor nothing. I don't, I'm, but I had a little phone speaker with me and my extra phone so that's where I played my music from the tracks you saw me singing with with Auntie Donna that day I've never used them in my life it was just impromptu I just press and google something and bop this came up and I just went with it so I, I didn't know the arrangements I didn't know nothing I just it was just all impromptu there was no rehearsal I'd never sung with that those music before <laughs> so I didn't know what would have happened but God was just in this vehicle child Everything was just orchestrated by God. And I didn't even know that, you know, people would be so drawn to it. I just thought, yeah, here we go. Here's an, I wasn't even thinking about no 10K. I'm like, I'm going to get to sing my Auntie Donna in my car. Like, oh my God. That's better than any photo. <laughs> so she came. You all saw the, the live we did. Voila, voila, voila. And after the live, a lot of you guys, you plunk up people. Ah, you Planka people are the best. The best. Good morning, Kakasha. Yes, Desiree. Yes. Exactly. 
I didn't foresee it. I didn't I didn't foresee it. Nope. I had no idea. I don't think I did not understood what she was doing. But you know, I had a goal that okay, I want to get to 10k. But I didn't even I wasn't thinking about no 10k at because I would never imagine. I just think maybe all right, maybe 30 people will follow me. 20 I never think about numbers, but probably a little bit of people will just follow because then like the little singing, right? <laughs> The people them come and they followed, they followed, they followed, and I kept putting out more content. I gave, I just kept giving, and you guys were just grabbing it like this. Every time I put out, you guys held on to it. I kept put, I kept working it, man. I worked. You see, when God give you, send somebody to push you. Don't just sit down and expect everything to happen. You have to put the work in. I, I started to work double, double time. I, I one morning I remember I came on a live and I was saying how I was so tired. People don't understand. I don't sleep during the night. By the time I drop asleep, I wake up back quick, quick, quick. And I'm already creating content for my page. I work hard for this page. Up creating content in the night. The heights by great men reach and kept were not attained by sudden flight. But they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward through the night. Sometimes by the time I finish creating the content, at my alarm I go off at 5 a.m. That means 5 a.m. Get up, mama. You need to get up, go and go pray and go bed and make breakfast for the kids because they're going to get up at 6 o'clock. That's their wake up time. You understand? So... <laughs> It, it didn't just happen so it didn't just happen because i was in the auntie dara was in my car that's what pushed it she just came and just give me one big push and i worked it i worked it i worked it and i watched this lady back up beside me but she she kind of look a bit too close you understand i worked it i work it i work it like crazy i work it like i never worked before big up rose kitchen and vlogs good morning mama you're on your way you know mama you are you next with the 10k we're rooting for you we're rooting for you <laughs> we're rooting for you hey rose rose don't play yeah rose don't play yeah so i worked it i worked it i work it i work it and here we are here we are i, I never stopped from the time I started my weekly lives for Don't Pass Me By, I never skipped a week. I never missed not even one week. There were I remember last summer when my throat I had a bad um uh horsed. I was hoarse. My voice was gone. When I speak, nothing couldn't come out. I may say, What you what if me now? I did a little uh video, a little clip, a little comedy thing, laughing and saying my son said, uh, what if I my voice now? He said, Mom, what if your voice never comes back? And I was just laughing with a voiceover of a man saying, ah, <laughs> And that video got seven hundred and how much seventy thousand views on my page. Almost a million views. I'm like, what here? God, this is not what I want to go viral. I, I mean, I understand how it go viral. It looked like it was shared a lot in Nigeria. <laughs> like it's in Nigeria. And it just blew up over there. Like they shared it a lot off Facebook. And that, that video of me just not saying anything. I'm just doing. That's it. With a voiceover of a man doing. Ha, 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 ha. And that way. I'm like, God, that's not what I want. I want when I sing. I want, that's what I want to get views. I don't want that because of foolishness to go um thing there. When my voice gone that week, I told you guys I couldn't come on the Wednesday. I'll do it on the Friday instead. That time my doctor gave me strict instructions. He said, don't sing. Don't speak. Don't say nothing. Don't hum. Don't do anything. You wait until you get back your voice. And my teeth and sing. Every week at teeth and sing. And then he sent me to an ear, nose and throat specialist because the voice wouldn't come back. He sent me to do an x-ray and an and a, and a ultrasound on my throat because the voice wouldn't come back. Because we couldn't tell him so because I never listened to him. I was still singing. I was still singing online and I shouldn't have. <laughs> Me never stop because I said I, I'm going to be consistent. So what I would do those weeks when I, you know, that I sang, me just sing songs where not too high me just hit all the low notes them and try to keep it quiet but and you guys still loved it because i never wanted to miss a week i wanted people to see that i was serious about this if i said i'm gonna be here on a wednesday morning at 7 30 for don't pass me by i'm going to be here i was gonna be here one way or another one morning i came and i could even sing i'm play music of me singing i played music because i'm like i'm going to be here so i want you all to know for my new people if you ever don't see me show up when I said I was going to, 
or when you expect me to just know that pray for me because something must have happened something urgent something big something huge is going down why you know, don't see me <laughs> because I would never not show up if I say I'm gonna be here I'm going to be here I'm consistent and loyal like that this is if I say I'm gonna be here. morning Sheridan good morning Karen good morning everybody if I say I'm gonna be here I'm gonna be here so I worked it I worked it when Auntie Donna came and gave me that push somebody push you and or pull you up a ladder you better make sure you climb up there don't expect them to do everything for you all she did was she was present in my car singing in the passenger seat here and we had an awesome awesome worship experience good morning Megan by Megan Salmon or is that dainty are you named dainty when we go to school with let me know yeah so she pulled me up and it's very important to support each other it's very important to support each other and that is why I say when I get to the top I'm gonna pay it forward I'm gonna pay it forward yesterday morning when Mrs. said me wake up and the 10k not on the page the first thing me do me wake up at what time I think about three something I think I something minutes after three I'm gonna grab the phone and I'm like because I'm like Lord I prayed for this I prayed for this so I expect to see 10k I'm missing nine point it was nine thousand nine hundred and something I'm like ah by about six o'clock I realized I needed 50 more people by the time I got to to, 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 to the parking lot at work I needed 42 when I started the live I said wow we need 42 more people 42 more people and I remembered I prayed just before the live start and I said God 42 little followers I know nothing for you I know nothing that for you that is nothing for you and I said God a lot of people don't understand why is Latoya praying for followers why why is it the people Latoya is wasting time now I go pray and I bother God as my brother would I say what well, I don't bother, bother God with that I bother God with um followers eh? request when people out there need yeah, and need clothes on their back shoes on their feet food what food to eat water to drink I'm over here, I pray for followers. But I said, God, you know what 10K can do. You know what 10K can do. And I remembered now, just as we were getting to closer to the end of the live, I needed, I, it went down to 33. I checked again and I said, we need 33. Good morning, Anastasia Paul. I said, we need 33 more people, 33 more people. And I sang, I sang, I sang. Even to, uh, last week, Last week, I remember that I did a live on a Sunday afternoon, an impromptu live, singing songs like Cupid and stuff. Where I was trying to run a marathon and I got some followers too. So it wasn't just like, you know, Auntie Donna come and she never come and say, here, give me. She would share the stuff and she said, here, um, she sang in my car with me. And oftentimes she would share other people, including myself. She would share my live and say, you know, blah, blah, blah. Follow. She never even said follow. She's like, blessings. I think that's what she did. She wrote the blessings. And people came, people came. So you gotta be prepared to put in the work. When somebody pull you up, don't expect them to do everything for you. You better be ready to put in the work. Better be ready. It was down to 33 and then we needed 26. We needed 26 and I'm like, whoa, we need 26. And we were playing all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. And Auntie Donna came on the live and she saw, and you know she loved the song there. I never sang that song since I did the live with her. I never sang it again till yesterday morning. All my life you have been faithful. Cause I'm like, God, I was praising him in advance. I said, Jesus, you see me, I already have my balloons. Me already did my little photo shoot at my house. Oh no, no, so I couldn't take them the pictures there yesterday. <laughs> I did all of that on the weekend. Cause I know that I knew that I know, I know, I know, I know. It had to be, it had, and I said, God, I want it before. I want it by Wednesday morning. So that we can celebrate because you know some do the live on a wednesday you understand so we need we need it that time when we look we needed 11 more 11 more it went down to 11. i checked again it needed three more three more and when we look at me go back up and say jesus of mercy it was nine thousand nine hundred and ninety seven people I'm like, you need only three, only three more, only three more. That I'm late for work, you know, I'm late, 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 late. I'm late, you know, I'm late. I was prepared. I said, even if I see my manager, I write it at the chat and he said, Latoya Mullins, why aren't you supposed to be at work? I was prepared to tell him, sir, listen, listen, this is my passion. When I've got those fire me and none because... <laughs> We break all the rules. I pulled out all the stops yesterday. Listen, child. Listen. 
When I look back the, about a minute, I'm not even a full minute later, I saw 10K. I'm like, wow! It was one of the most exciting moments. It was just so exhilarating. It was crazy. I'm like, I've never experienced this in my life. I've never seen this in my life. I never... <laughs> exactly sure that's that's the goal that's the goal that's another, that's another topic <laughs> you understand me i've never in all my facebook life ever see or experience anything like this and that is why i said the page this page belongs to the lord it belongs to god you know i never ask i even see people write under auntie donna post all the time follow my page guys follow my page the only time i did it is when she opened up the post and she said guys if you have a business put your um your business under here ask people to follow you put your put your website or put your page if you want people that's the only time i never went under anybody's life and tried to use them i think it's it's very disrespectful it's impolite you can't just go on up in a people face and put your page like that and say follow me guys you can't just do that and 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 and, and put your ads under there i see some big pages sometimes they tell them just take it down then tell people don't do that you can't sit and wait for people to to create a post about let's say the post is about balloons and then you go under there and tell and write oh follow me guys and expect easy followers it don't just come so because me not get no easy followers i don't get no easy if you ever see anybody like me name, with my name even if you say i'm a picture there and it under somebody post and it say follow me guys you read the post and make sure the post say post your your page under here because I never, it, it's very, it's very disrespectful. And if they have a concert, they see them advertise the concert under the people, them good, good post because they have a lot of followers. That's not how advertising go. It doesn't work like that. It's, it's very rude. You can't just, it's like showing up to somebody's house uh, unannounced, like, oh, let me in. You can't just do that. <laughs> I love you. We love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks for the love, Anastasia. I love you right back. I love you right back. So I never, I don't do that. I don't do it. And a lot of people, I see them do it on the Auntie Donna post because she's influential. I waited my time. I waited on God's perfect time because God knows you know, so I stay. I would never impose like that. Mm -mm. God knows me. He knows me inside and out. He knows what I'm capable of. He knows what I will do. He knows what I wouldn't do. You understand and he just he just presented that blessed opportunity he he orchestrated everything he orchestrated everything just like that and when i said the page belongs to the lord and that i'm going to uh wait well you have to um wait for facebook to review your page i applied and then you have to give them time to review your page. It takes about two weeks. And then if they think that they, okay, fine, this page is ready, they will approve it for monetization. Once they do it, it takes a while actually before you have to keep creating the content. Then you make the money off the page the first month. After the first month, then the first money I said I will bless it. I will give it. Yesterday I said I was going to give Auntie Donna. No. She said no. I forgot quickly that she she don't do charity no more. So I mean, no one nobody go say home. Oh, they do page and send money go give her and for nothing like that. It will be done through me. So any bashing, any licking, any no, me we get it. And don't think it's not for it's. It won't be given to family. If you're related to me, in any way, shape, or form, with a near cousin, far cousin, second cousin, third cousin, sixth cousin, whatever the cousin be. Or any uh any relation once you're related to me it can it won't be for you god will have to show me that person he have to present that situation so i'll know that wait a minute and i know he's gonna do it have i ever asked god any for anything on here and he never give me god will just do it he will show me who deserve it more than me god knows i need it and one day when i tell you all my story you are gonna be shocked to know that I will be willing to give somebody the first blessing. Because it's not me feel good in me. I say, yes. Oh my God, my page is going to get monetized. And I'm singing. Oh my God, I only need three more. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we're going to start making money now on Facebook. Oh, it's about time. I'm thinking in my head, all kind of things I run through. It's about time, you know. I put quality content out there. And I deserve this. I deserve this. I don't want to feel like I don't. I deserve this. God said to me, say, I don't feel your hit. So stay there. It's not even yours, Latoya Mullins. That money will all go to you. And mine, I'm like, quick, I'm like, ah, 
Ah, but I but I need it. God said, No, I no feel your hit. God said, It is not mine. The first blessing from the page will not be mine. God says it doesn't belong to me. I will have to bless someone else who needs it more than me. So I got to do what God says. I just got to do it. <laughs> the Holy Spirit talked to me and I have to just do it. That's that's just, that's how I operate. This is, I can't do nothing without God just tell me, say, okay, this. Do this, don't do that, don't do it. God say it doesn't belong to me. So you stay there, jump up, little girl. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's not going to be yours. And look how me, I wait. I'm saying, come here, wait. But this is an opportunity, me, I wait. Pan, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. God said, no, Latoya. It's not yours. Mm. It's nice and warm now. God said, no, for me, my love. So I have to wait. And God will give me, he will send that person my way. Good morning, self. <laughs> You're coming from work. Oh, big up to all the nurses. We work them long overnight, 12-hour shifts. <laughs> yes, Kakasha, I have come a long way. So God wanted, I believe wholeheartedly that God wanted to. He waited until. He waited until. Yes, yeah, sure, it would be very biased to give a family member. You're mad. No matter how much a family member need it. I'm sorry, God, but I'm not, they're not going to get it. They can't, they can't be like that. You can't just give family. Okay. No way. God waited until I was alive because he wanted to prove. Remember, I said in the previous life, I said he's going to do it, you know. I said, help me get to 10K. And we're going to prove God publicly again. I called it out. I said, we're going to prove God publicly. So God, I say, did you not say you're going to prove me publicly? I'm like, you know, wait till you're alive, little girl. And when I was alive, he came through child he came through right on time when i woke up yesterday morning i text my sister or and i said we're not there at 10k yet what it looked like god i go do it on the live <laughs> that's what i said i said god, and i said and i wrote i said and it's gonna be more exciting and it's gonna be more exciting she reminded me after the live finish she said you see what you say god said it's going to be done on the live in front of everybody in front of everybody he said he's not gonna let me be ashamed he's not gonna let my enemies triumph over me he's not gonna let all my hard work go in vain he's gonna yes he proved to everyone that he is god leticia riley yes mama he proved himself mr isn't god good isn't god awesome isn't god good mighty rock in a weary land no sir mighty rock mighty rock mighty rock when me see how God come true, me say, God, you never have to show off, say, you know? Me say, God, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. So tell your gin a leash. <laughs> you're good. You make me think, and then you just say, ah, 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 mighty rock. Me say, no, man. This song has now become our anthem. Or anthem. All oh, my days have been held in his hands from the moment that I wake up until I lift my Till I lay my head. I will sing. 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 Hey, I will sing of the goodness of God. wanted to encourage somebody yesterday on the live he wanted them to see that what he says he's gonna do he's going to do it God wanted to prove himself to someone yesterday that listen I see you I hear you praying I've seen your tears I've seen all the hard work that you have been putting in and I'm going to honor you. That is what God is saying to you.
God is saying to someone that he's going to honor you and he's going to do it. He is going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. God, God. He's going to anoint your head with oil. It's going to be so much oil, Nashana, that your cup going to run over. It's going to run over. It's going to run over. Goodness is running. When me are going my car, me we carry it with everything. My kids have to feel it too, all the time, every week, consistently from November 2021. God says, "Latoya Mullins, this is not just about you. I'm gonna do it for somebody else." That was yesterday morning. He said, "No, Mama, I'm gonna let the 10K show up. I'm gonna show up and show out so hard." That I'm gonna encourage, I'm gonna use you, Latoya Mullins, as an encouragement to somebody. I know a lot of us here in the chat right now. You start something, you start a page, you're, you're doing something consistently, and you know that you know that you know you've been putting in the work and you want to give up sometime because it's hard. And guess what? A lot of people, it's so much difficult now for people to get followers. You know why? Because now that people understand that if you get a certain amount, you can become uh, monetized. So some people get bad mind and they say they no nah, follow you. Me not nah, give her me follow, me not nah, give him me follow. I'm money you want to make now on Facebook. So it's harder and it's more competitive. So because of that, everybody are open page. Everybody start page. But you push through. You push through. You push through. You push through like you never pushed through before. Because when you're doing it, it's not just for you. You're blessing so many other people without even knowing. You don't even know. You don't even know. What the lady said on YouTube to me in a comment yesterday, she said, Latoya, you don't even know how much people you're inspiring every day. You don't even know how much people you're blessing. You don't even know. So God wanted to use me as a testimony yesterday. He never want me to wake up with it already. He wants me to show everybody. He wanted to see. He wanted everyone to see it happening right in front of our eyes. He wanted everybody to see it come to fruition. Right in front of their very eyes. 10,000 organic followers don't come easy. It don't come easy. It doesn't come easy. Some people buy followers, you know that? They buy them. They say, God, I will never buy a follower. Because if you buy them, they're just bots, like robots. They, they don't, they don't, they can't engage with you. So you can have 10K and you can't get monetized because of fake people that follow you. You have 10K and you can't even get 100 likes on a post because the people are not engaging. Even if they're organic people and they're not engaging, you cannot make it like that. You have to just wait on God to send the right people your way. People that will gravitate to your content. Before I started this, I made sure nobody else was singing in their car. And I, just, I have something we call Don't Pass Me By. This is completely different. Me not see nobody else do anything like what I do. It's completely different. I don't see any page that's doing this on the way to work. In the parking lot. I'm going inside now. Ha! Child! It promotes the work of God. Amen, tenacious. It promotes the work of God. That is why I've said, and I will continue to say till the day I die, this page belongs to the Lord. This page belongs to God. 
Yes. Good. Good morning, my small twin DVH here. <laughs> That man, woman and me, Miss Victoria have the same smile. It's scary sometimes when I look at your live and I see how you blush and how you do. I'm like, Jesus, no woman you look like me so much. <laughs> my sisters look at it too and they're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Harita or Harita. Harita, sorry. Let God prove himself, yeah? Let God prove himself. There were times when I didn't even want to be encouraged. I see, I'll see a positive post, and I'll be like, I don't, I skip and scroll over it, fast, fast, fast. I don't want to be reminded that I should be encouraged because I got tired. I got tired. I got tired. I got tired because when we say a long time, me I sing. Me never just start this last night. A long time, me I do it. And remember, me say to God, me say if you may go cut it, me now do going to year two with it. You have to prove to me that singing is what you want me to do because I don't just want to sing. I want to sing with a purpose. I don't want to sing because it sounds good and people say, uh, uh, applaud and applaud me. And it's, that's just not enough. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Heather Richards. I appreciate you. Yes, guys, I'm on YouTube and my YouTube people over there, they're nice to see. Child. All the hard work. It has only just begun. <laughs> so if me did not work double time, you know, me have to go triple it, quadruple it. Me have to go just work extra, extra, extra hours. Extra hours, child. God's timing. Yes, Angela. It's perfect, not mine. His ways are not my ways. His thoughts are not my thoughts. Yard swag. <laughs> yes, yes. Because it's yourself, yard swag. Yes. Nursing the soul. Nursing the soul. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. She is the wife. Of a singer that I've known from NCU days, K. Anthony. K. Anthony is another artist that I respect. He pushed through so hard all the time. And even when the crowd is not there, he's pushing. Listen, man, when you know God ordained you for do something, when you know that God have that purpose, put that purpose in you, listen, you push through. You do it anyhow. Good morning, Dr. Nadine Wang. Good morning, more blessings to you too. Good morning, Tamar. My beautiful sis. God is able, sis. Nothing done before it's time. I love you all. Love, love, love like cooked food. I'm going to start now because I can't be late this morning two times in a row. But you know how I go? One day, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to sing, I'm quitting my job today. Hey, hey, hey. You win. Remember, you know, me say, my sister, them say, me have goat mouth. I don't say nothing and it not happen. <laughs> if I say one thing, Bob's your uncle tomorrow morning. They call me and say so and so and so. I am claiming it, nursing the soul. I am claiming it in the name of Jesus. Lorraine, Shandell, everybody big up on a nice clean self. We can chat some more in the, on the, in the chat when I end the live. Because now I have to go in and I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Glace your head, man. Blessings to you too. So remember now. Yes, Jackie. Thanks for the reminder. Tomorrow morning. Thank you, Red Cross. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a pop-up. Don't pass me by. And we can really sing and have a wonderful sweet time again. I don't know if we take tomorrow off. We can have a wonderful sweet time again. Because, listen. Only one place I want to be. And it's right here. That's where I want to be. <laughs> you see them something here? It's a take up my time. It's kind of like a distraction when I get in on the way. I work much. Well, it was, you know, it's good to have a job. Don't get me wrong. How else would I pay my bills, right? How else? But there comes a time. There comes a time when it's shifting season, child. There's gonna come a time when God says, Latoya Mullins, you can't depend your life until Jesus come and nobody can take you off. You know, if you come out, because you're over there and do what you're supposed to do. When he created me to do, he created me to worship. That's what he created me to do. I've known him as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God. Mighty rock, mighty rock. All my, life. All my life, he has been faithful. Stay faithful, my people. Stay true. All my life, All my life. 
He has been so, so good. With every breath, child. I will sing of Jesus' love. Yes. Oh, I'm looking for this. All right. I love it enough, enough, enough. We're going to talk later. Oh, you guys are awesome. And it's hard for just part from Uno. It's so difficult. <laughs> Let me tell them to say, it's like them new relationship. You know, when you find one nice little new man, you just walk in the road, all in time. <laughs> you don't want to go nowhere. You don't want, you don't want to shift. You just want to lie down and cock up in the bed and just talk on phone. <laughs> and I blush. That's how I feel about you guys. <laughs> That's how I feel. Me no want to come off, but you all know how it go. I don't know how it go. <clears throat> I'm heading inside. I love you all. Have a great day. Have an awesome day. Have a happy day. Have a blessed day. Talk soon. Trisha Mother Dog, big up yourself. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine, I know. <laughs> I better when I say about lie down in a bed. I better not make you say me too much. <laughs> Blessings, Mama. Blessings, blessings. Loving enough. Talk soon. All right. See you in the later. See you tomorrow morning for pop up live. And don't pass me by. Mwah, 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 mwah.